We do indeed, James. It is a big pile of sleeping lions that all stack together. There you can see in one long line is the entire Nkuma pride. So it looks like all five females are here as well as the six cubs. It's difficult to count them when they're all lying so close together. You can see everybody's kind of got a connection somewhere. So we've got Ambies, it's on the far left here and then another one and then the tail joins the rest of them and there goes the line and the train all the way back and it's just that one on the other side of the log that is not connected at this stage. Otherwise, every single one is touching another one at some point. It's quite funny, actually, to see. So it's just them. It doesn't look like there's any other signs of another Birmingham boy. It's so Mfumo and just the Nkuma Pride that are together. Now, interestingly, that the female with the cubs is here as well. So hopefully, at some point today, we might find her tracks going back towards where the little cubs are. That would be quite nice. At least we know that she's here with them by the looks of it. And if she is, then hopefully this afternoon she decides to go towards the cubs and we can kind of track her down and go and get a look at those little ones and see whether she's actually moved the den it'll be interesting to see if she has they often do move dens fairly quickly and the little ones urinate and defecate and make a bit of a mess around the den site so they often do move them every couple of weeks just to keep those little ones safe so I'm sure she will head in that direction at some point, especially if they had a bit of a meal yesterday. That's when they often do go to the cubs. They get nutrient-rich milk, and they then go from here towards that area. But isn't that cool to see? <laughs> it's just like a big carpet of sleepy lions, and I think that's it for the morning. I don't think they're going to get up to too much more. Mfumo has decided that he's done for today. He's decided to sleep and is completely passed out on his side somewhere in the distance and then the rest of the pride are well, following suit at this stage it's just the one little cub at the back there that's still grooming oh what's that a little fly maybe I always love watching cats when they try catch flies it's very entertaining they kind of snap away at them and inevitably they miss completely but they try their best anyway and the flies today seem to be quite bad. I wonder if maybe the fact that Mfumo has got a couple of wounds is attracting them, but they, all of these lions have been flicking ears and tails, and it's an indication that the temperatures are starting to warm up. As we get into the summer months, we start to see a lot more flies coming out and a lot more insects that are going to irritate these poor lions, as well as temperature that's going to start affecting them as well. So it's about to become a lot more uncomfortable. They've had a good time over the winter. It's much easier for a lion in the winter months. It doesn't get nearly as hot and far less to worry about in terms of insects. There's still going to be ticks that are going to come out and like I say a lot of these biting flies and so they might as well rest now before the real heat comes later. Dr. Rob you say a carpet of cats? Well most certainly they really are a kind of <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to say. It is a carpet completely. They, not one of them has paid any attention to us. And in fact, we came when we first arrived, it was just Ambies that had her head up and then they all settled down like this. So they are sleepy at best. And it's interesting because the Inkuma Pride generally covers a lot of ground at night. They tend to move quite a bit. And from where we had them last night to here, it's not really that far. In fact, for them, it's normally, I would say, probably an hour, 45 minutes walk. Um, to, to this position so I'm quite surprised that they didn't carry on further and especially because they were at the dam and moving at around sort of three o'clock this morning our time which means that they, in two hours they didn't really cover too much ground it seems as though they really weren't too interested in actually going too far I suppose if they had a meal yesterday there's no real need to be hunting last night and that's maybe why they haven't covered as much ground as I would have thought they would 